Insecurities and fear is real contagious. Like your insecurities and your fears can rub off on the people that are around you, especially children. Me and my mum was talking about this the other day, and I know someone. This person's a big boy now, but they're scared of lifts. Do you know why? I remember getting in the lift with a little boy and his dad, and the dad has a fear of lifts. This little boy is like four or five years old at the time. Got in the lift with the dad and the little boy, and the lift started obviously elevating and that. And the dad said, "Don't, don't worry." Don't, don't be scared, yeah, it's all right. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at the little boy, I'm thinking, this little boy is not scared of lifts, you know. His dad's insecurity, his dad's fear rubbed off, rubbed off onto the little boy. Now the little boy is scared of the lifts. I'm telling you, when I was in the lift with this child, this child was not scared of the lift. But his dad rubbed off his fear onto his son. There's plenty of parents out here right now, yeah, that are a bit scared of flying on a plane. I guarantee you. These parents, yeah, will get on the plane with their child for the first time and they've got enough courage to get on the plane and that their, their fears aren't that much where it consumes them to the point where they can't get on a plane. But they will tell their child, don't worry, it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit scary, but don't worry, you'll be safe. We're not going to die or some madness like that. And then that will make the child scared of being on a fucking plane. Let me tell you something right now. If I get on a plane, when I get on a plane with my son or my daughter for the first time, if they ever even start acting a little bit scared, I'll say, listen. Relax your ass, Clark self, yeah? Look around right now, yeah? You, f you feel like you're scared. Look around right now. Is anyone else scared? No? So why the hell are you scared? I'm going to train my children from young not to be scared of dumb little things like going up in the lift or jumping on the plane. Even right now, yeah, there's parents right now. You might have had parents that have done this to you. I would never do this. There's certain little kids right now, yeah? Work on the heat in a little bit. Black man, I'm getting cold. When I have a son, Especially when I have a son, because if I have a daughter, I might baby her a little bit more, but especially when I have a son. He comes to me and says, oh, dad, I'm scared in the night. I want my light to be left on. I want my lamp to be left on. I'm going to tell him, no, I'm going to remove the light, but I'm going to take the lamp with me. You ain't getting no light. If he's like, oh, please, dad, I'm going to be scared in that. There's a monster underneath the bed or in the closet. And I'm telling you, I promise you, big man, little man, there's no monsters in this room. I'm shutting this door. You're not coming in my bed or mum's bed, whatever, none of that nonsense and that. You're going to stay in this room with this alleged monster. I promise you, you will be alive and well in the morning. And when I go into his room in the morning and he's still alive and well, I'm going to tell him, see, there's nothing to be worried about, yeah? About you sleeping in your bedroom with a light on or a lamp on. And trust me, you lot might be laughing right now thinking, oh, it's just little kids that are scared of the dark. There are grown ass adults that... They can't sleep with their bedroom door open looking into the darkness, yeah? You know, most people, if they've got their bedroom door open, it's just pitch black and that. There's certain adults, they're scared to do that, you know? I think to myself, what? Blood, before my girl moved into my yard with me, I was sleeping in the whole house, the entire house, on my own, yeah? Imagine a three-bed house, the whole entire yard, I'm just in there on my own, yeah? Just me in the darkness and that. There's certain people right now, adults, terrified. Terrified of the darkness and I think what did my girl even say something along the lines like how does Jay just stay in this house all on his own and like there's Like there's nothing under I can't remember what she was saying in it like something about Ra Jay just stays in the house all on his own like it's not I don't give a shit I don't give a shit literally man spent a good couple years just living on my own in my in my yard Yeah Don't don't care don't care but literally there's adults out here Terrified of the dark male or female A lot of people would never admit it obviously but yeah, literally fear and insecurities and that are contagious. I remember one time I was working at Homes of Haringey. This time I was an apprentice. We got a call to go to one particular job. And allegedly there was a, a rat running around. There were two girls. We used to call them the girls. They used to fit kitchens and that. Apparently the girls that were working, they fit in the kitchen. They saw the rat and they bust out. So anyway, they asked us to go and do whatever we need to do in that job and that. But they just said to us, apparently there's a rat running around or whatever. Cool. So anyway, we were just laughing about it in the van. Like, ah, oh, them girls there shook their bus out because there's a little rat or whatever in, in, in the flat. It was a ground floor flat. Boom. There was about four of us. Yeah, or at least three. It was me, my mentor and another mentor. Yeah? We rocked up to this flat. Bust the front door open. 
the guy who was going in first, as he went in, he stopped and he's like, whoa, 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 because we heard something rustling. It might have just been the wind blowing some papers around inside the flat, but we heard some rustling. As he was about to walk in, my man said, whoa, 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 did you hear that? Now he's starting to make us scared. Cause none of us, we didn't give a shit. We just thought it was funny and that. But now my man's talking about there's a rat, they're talking about there's a rat running around and my man started to move by me and that. Now he's got us moving a bit prang and by me and that. This is how fear is fucking contagious, blood. Even like, one time when I used to have that vending machine business, man was pitching my idea to different companies. And there was a, a housing association somewhere down in Stockwell can't remember the name of the housing association but they invited me for an interview like a presentation to do a presentation and that. so anyway I'm just thinking yeah cool I'm gonna go and do my presentation I'm bringing my laptop whatever I told one of my female friends back then this is years and years ago told one of my female friends oh yeah I've got a presentation to do in three days time on a Friday whatever She's like, oh, you got a presentation to do. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, okay, well, well, good luck. Yeah. Make sure when you go in there, you walk in tall and you project your voice and you and you know you you project this air of confidence and that. And I'm thinking, now you're starting to make me feel a little bit prang now. Now you're making me start because I'm not thinking that it's a, a thing like that. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go and just present my business idea. Now you're making me a little bit worried, thinking, ah, oh, am I taking this thing too lightly? And I'm just, I'm not saying that man for take things lightly and that, but now you're making me think like, oh, is it this serious and that like, blood, it's just a little presentation, man. Man's just talking and that. Oh, make sure you go in there, walk tall, have your chin up and that's some bullshit. I'm like, like even like now, obviously man's got a little presentation that I need to do in a couple of months time. I know when I start telling people about it, they're gonna say like, oh, like there's some people, yeah, if you're telling them that you're gonna do something important and that, they will ask you, are you nervous? Like, don't be nervous. Make sure you be confident in that. By you telling me that, now you're trying to make me feel fucking nervous and make me feel unconfident in that. You see, if someone's telling me something that they're going to do and I know that it could be something that could be quite nerve-wracking, do you know what I'll tell them? Before they go and do what they need to do, have fun. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. I'm not telling them, oh, are you nervous or whatever. When I used to go for my taekwondo competitions and that, people used to say to me or ask me like a couple of days before, yeah, well, good luck. Don't don't be nervous and that. Like, why are you telling man? Don't be nervous. You should be saying, have fun. Fuck good luck. You don't need no good luck. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. People need to know how to, you know what I'm saying? Like, lighten a situation and that. Can't be letting people go into situations and giving them like. I'm not saying they're giving them bad advice, but it's the wrong sort of a pep talk, man. Me, if I have a son or I know someone that's doing something that I could think could be quite nerve-wracking, I say, enjoy yourself, have fun. Not walking tall, make sure you project your voice, make sure you act like you're confident. Like, what the fuck, man? Man don't act confident, man is confident, blood. So, um, yeah, man, I just noticed, like, over the years, it's been a few times I just noticed, like, people, they, they project their fears and insecurities onto other people and other people can become fearful and insecure just because of how this other person's acting. Imagine, yeah, you're in a situation that could be quite scary and that. If everyone's acting calm and cool, calm and collected and that, then you're going to think to yourself, why the fuck am I acting like some damn pussy ass jackass, innit? You're going to, yeah? Man for firm up and that. It was funny. You know when that 9-11 Twin Towers thing was happening? When it did. You know, some people was like, ah, oh, George Bush, he knew that um, the, the Twin Towers was um, like, it got, it got the, the plane flew into it or whatever in it. Yeah, like, that's how you know he was in on it because he was so confident and he was so cool, calm and collected in that when he was giving his speech. Because obviously as the president of the United States, he had to give a public speech on the matter at hand and that. And he was telling everyone, don't worry, we've got it under control. Don't worry, we're gonna handle this thing, innit? Yeah? Could you imagine, th th that's how as a man, as a leader, you have to conduct yourself. Could you imagine George Bush giving a public statement with a cigarette in his hand saying, I don't know what we're gonna do, I'm scared, yeah? I, I don't know, man, they're terrorists, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna kill us and that. Come on, man, you have to be cool, calm, collected in these sort of situations and that, as a leader. Yeah, let the people at the bottom, they can run around and act like pussies and that. But as a leader, you gotta be the one that's gonna be cool, calm and collected. You have to give people them that reassurance that everything is blessed. So, um, yeah, man, some of these people, boy, they really project their insecurities and fears onto other people. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay with us, tunnel.